But we do have a bit Don't of a point it down there. We do have a fair few <laughs> tissues down here and he's a jolly messy man. Good morning everybody and welcome. So today I'm gonna organise getting the auger put into silo number four here. I don't know which way we're going to number them. I'm pretty sure we're numbering it that way because they're the original two and then these two were just put up this year. So um, we're going to cut the linseed from the south lease block and put it in this silo here um, just because it's not it's about halfway between the main farm and the south lease block. So it's just easier with transport and that. So and we've got new silos here and we've got probably the organic wheat um, probably won't even fill up one of them. So We'll have a spare silo here, and um, yeah, we're gonna put the linseed in that, so I have gotta get the auger all sorted. Gotta fly down with the compressor, and they're gonna get going on the um, linseed harvest there, which, if you looked at the last video, we just sort of got started, and then basically we had to replace all the knife and knife guards on the header fronts, um, because it just was gum gumming up, it wasn't cutting cleanly enough, so. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was a fun four or five hours. But um, anyway, it's working absolute treat now. It's going beautifully, so that's the important thing. So yeah, we do still have two silos full of last year's organic wheat. Um, we're still holding on to that. So um, yeah, we should have two and a half or nearly three silos full of organic wheat by the time we finish this harvest. So enough yakking, I'll lift the lid, get the auger, we'll try and put it in, and um, we'll see where we get to. Right. Let's hook this up. We've got Johnny helping me today. He's had a bit of a crook back, so he's he's trying to get back into it from his uh, shoulder surgery. So he's a bit a bit ginger. Um, but yes, we'll hook up this auger and get that in, and uh, hopefully everything's right. We did go through this auger when we replaced the flighting a couple of months ago. Yeah, I'm not sure if we got. Might have to jack it up. Oh no, there we go. Oop. There we go. Um, is there one? There, that one there. Oh, I'll, I'll grab that one. Uh, nylon bush. Where did the nylon bush go? I did put it somewhere there. Oh, it's fallen over, has it? Fallen off. Yeah, I, I came in on an angle. I hope it's enough. <laughs> How about we put a great big dirty scrape up the side of the new shed, eh? I don't want to be the first one to do that. You don't want to be the first one? No. I'll wait till someone else runs into it before I do it. forgot something very important. I did this once before. Yeah. 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 slight development we've got an issue with the key again so those that watch regularly might remember when we were doing the auger flighting in this this did play up but I did um, fill around with it sprayed some lubricant in there and it was working I couldn't get it to play up and it's been working for a month or two fine um, but now thankfully I guess it's played up on me and not while we're trying to unload the grain the key stuck again so I've got to somehow find out how to get to it, I think I've got to go from the top 
and um, yeah I'll have to just rig up I don't have a spare igni uh, ignition switch so I've actually got this made up which was from for something else I don't know exactly what for but I've got a start button there and just a toggle off on for the ignition for the ignition so that should be simple enough for um, yeah for you to use for the minute until we get an, an ignition switch so that's what we're doing well guys I did a classic Brad and I got distracted on the phone and didn't record anything <laughs> so I am um, yeah we've got got action now which is good oh, there's the key so I've just uh, yeah got that set up there just obviously it looks very dodgy but it works so just then you can you can flick that off so it um, It works really well actually. Maybe we'll leave it there and it's less likely to give us problems. <laughs> but we'll, um, yeah, we're all good here. I just got to double check a couple of things, make sure the door's shut on the silo. Um, yeah. Then I'm not sure if I've got to hang around here and wait for Uncle Ian to come in the truck and just help him get, make sure this is all right. Or if I'm gonna fly up and help Johnny, um, he's starting to do some of the other jobs like clean out the mother bins and all of that. So uh, I'm just gonna hang tight for a couple minutes and see what my marching orders are. And um, then we can go from there. Sounds like my marching orders are just here now. Well, my marching orders are that Uncle Ian will be here in about half an hour, 40 minutes. And um, yeah, so I'll stick around here, wait for that. And then we can just know that the first load's always tricky. You sort of need two eyes, you're making sure everything's right because by the time you're unloading the truck you're focusing on that there could be something going on up there you don't realize so um yeah for the sake of half an hour it's going to pay just to have two sets of eyes here and make sure this is all good to go and then i'll yeah go and fill around with the other jobs with johnny so that's the plan well it's very smoky out there there is quite a few fires around the state actually and i don't know where this smoke's coming from but um, yeah, it's not real good. There's a lot of places that are, yeah, it's not good. But anyway, so I'm just heading back to, yeah, help Johnny um, do a couple of things there. We got one load into that silo. It all seems well, so I think we're, um, yeah, we're in good stead there. Well, we're just finishing up washing these mother bins down. It's a bit of hot work uh, climbing all in and around it. Um, yeah, Johnny's just fish finishing off that one. Trying to get all the bulk off. Um, this Bromar has the big slide through the middle of it, so it kind of makes it easier in some ways. Um, we've just got it sitting on the outside there. Um, and yeah, we're about to take these down to the big igloo and uh, put them away. They're talking sort of rain, storms, drizzly rain for, for the next few days, so we'll get all we can undercover. Um, linseed should be done. Uh, maybe tomorrow at some point. We're ready to go. Johnny's just about to take off in that. I'm going to pop this away, then hop in the the New Holland. And uh, yeah, see if we can jam them in, squeeze them in somewhere down there. Wait for everything to wake up before I can use anything. Come on. See if I can't get pushed down the hill. Yeah, that would really stay. So the key is big long turns these things as big as you can this one's a little bit better than the other one although with the modification Brad did to the old one it's it turns pretty good now but yeah you just don't want to overcook the overcook the goose Okay. 
got a few things parked up here. We're just trying to reorganise a couple of a uh, couple of things. I even found a spot for the comma. So the two mother bins are in there. Can't come over too much further on this one. Um, we've still got the old Chamberlain and the seed grader or seed cleaner to find a spot for, which shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Um, yeah, I might go grab the Chamberlain first, or do I? Uh, maybe I'll... We don't use this probably as often, so we can probably bury that in behind a little bit. Anyway, I'm just making it up as we go. Usually don't have everything undercover by November. I think we're done here. We'll um, head back up. I've got to take some fuel down to the headers, so that'll be the next job. Well, guys, we made it. All in one piece, I think. Dad's here just in the command vehicle overseeing everything. You're reading a book. I am reading. <laughs> and I'm multitasking. I'm listening to the radio too, but don't tell Mum. Yeah, no, don't let that secret out. No. no. Oh, they've nearly done that little section, and then there's only this bit behind us, isn't it? I believe that's right. So I think we might. It's looking like it very well will be done tonight. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Beat the rain? Yeah, what rain Friday, I think, isn't it? I'm and it's the Wednesday, Wednesday I today. I don't know how much. Yeah. No, I've just been pacing myself today. I've changed, the, got those tyres, wheels, put them back on the right trailer. and I don't want to uh, risk overachieving. No, no, we don't do, don't want to do that. Particularly no. when it's all going nicely like this, I just... I could muck it up, couldn't I? <laughs> no, it is. It's all, to, and the truck's keeping it away. Everything just seems to be working, so it's good. Yeah, with you and me, <coughs> you and me out of the show, Matt, it works much better. Yeah, apparently. Mm. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. Should get a, I should um take the opportunity, eh? Throw the drone up. Yes, I think so. It's a bit, bit smoky. I don't know how it'll come up on the footage, but uh, it's all part of the experience. yeah, we'll give it a crack.
in the command vehicle and we're just gonna what are we doing just seeing where they're up to well you just said oh let's go see what they're where they're up to no i said i'm going to have a look what they're up to and you said i'll jump in yeah well gotta get this a detail map you gotta get the details it's right. more or less the same thing just said differently <laughs> but we do have a bit Don't of a point it down there we do have a fair few <laughs> tissues down here and he's a jolly messy man it is i am well actually you've been pretty good with once you got the new you a while back you've been pretty tidy but well, yeah. i had your boy with me the other day and i <coughs> caught whatever he's got yeah eddie and i'm all choked up so. eddie might have had a sniffle and uh gave that to pop so, so I was, um, pop's just making a mess down here he is and, but i brought me a box of tissues and i just go along and have a blow and throw it down there and you weren't meant to see it <laughs> that's pretty rude pointing that thing down there <laughs> hey where's the, where do we go here i don't know where I, the, do you want directions or you just oh, we're winging it we can get up through here i know that but can you we can't get, get no no, you can't get down there. Well, we won't go down there then. No. So, well, I think, gee, it's doing a nice job cutting now. Oh, well, it's come off, it's coming off quicker than I thought it would, given last night when, well, it was... Poor old, poor old Brad was just about ready to call it a night. Oh, he's... At, at five o'clock in the afternoon. You know, his monkeys were all out of the cage big time. I think he's, he's a bit sick too. So everyone's blaming blaming my family for causing the sickness. So you just gotta you just gotta take that. But yeah, he's a bit he's a bit unwell and feels I don't know. He's he's got the blue too. He's, he's got yeah. He just doesn't complain about it like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, he does sometimes. Give him his moment. Well guys, we're in a bit of a conundrum. Um, dinner's coming at six o'clock. It's five, a bit after 5.30. There's not a lot left to do. I, I think I think it'll be still a pull up. I think there'll still be some to do after dinner, but yeah, I think it's surprised everyone how quick it's coming off. Well guys, the uh, Tucker call's been um, called out on the radio, so they're all coming home. So I think Phil needs a, uh, Brad needs a quick top up with fuel, and um, yeah, we'll dig in and have some tucker. This might be, well, this is going to be the last one. We're just not sure what's happening with the organic wheat. They're talking a bit of rain. Not sure if it's 100% ready yet. It might have to be after the rain. So who knows? But this might be the last in-field dinner for a little while. So we'll be sure to enjoy it.
Well, I've just been promoted to truck driver. So I'm going to be in the yellow echo. Um, we've got about, we'll probably have three more loads to go back to the development block. Um, if I can get this one and come back for another one tonight, then there'll just be the one to get in the morning when we bring all the machine machinery back. So I think that's going to be the plan. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I won't be able to just sit around and take drone footage now. It's going to be a bit disappointing. Well, guys, we're off in the big truck. So it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get back. Um, yeah, it'll probably be well and truly dark. We're actually just going through a neighbour's place um, initially, and just we've got to go pretty steady. It's not a formed road or anything; it's just a just a track. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit slow going for the first bit. We've made it. Now I've got to just not run over everything. Back this up and then I'll uh, turn on the lights. Pleasant here, at least, anyway. Which is which? I think they're just under there. I don't really need to see under the silo. Oh, hopefully, that's light enough to shine over here. We haven't got, because these two silos here are new, we haven't got lights on them. But at some stage, I guess that will happen. But thankfully, they're quite broad spread lights. You just sit and wait. Linseed acts a bit like water, so you can have it on an angle like this and it'll just about nearly empty it all. Maybe a little bit more, but you get the idea. And I better make sure to, once this stops flowering, shut that. I don't want to do a brad. And we can just back that off. Well guys, I think actually not too bad these lights here. They do a good job. But everywhere else is dark. So we're gonna leave the video here for now. I'm just gonna go get go back, get one more load. Then the linset will be done, then it's just waiting around for the uh, yeah, see what happens. Maybe the organic wheat will start tomorrow, maybe we've got one day before the rain. But there's not a lot of the organic wheat that's actually ready to go, so um, who knows? You'll have to tune in on the next one to find out how that all works. So, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and we'll catch you in the next one.